Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to you all with another video. And this, I'm going to read an article from Bossup.com. It's called RHOP Season 8 Trailer. A suspected shrine, Shren, a new grand dom, and Robin gets grilled about wine. It's tea time for the ladies of the Real Housewives of Potomac. And the season 8 trailer is showcasing all the shade and shenanigans you, you would expect from these cherry blossom beauties. Here go the, um, here go the cast photo of all the ladies. RHOP is returning for its eighth season with a supersized premiere on Sunday, November 8th at 8 p.m. on Bravo, and the ladies are once again bringing the drama. I bet they are. In the trailer, the housewives are introduced sitcom style as Potomac proper before we're given glimpse at the new season. The entire group is back. Giselle Bryant, Karen Huger, Ashley Darby, Robin Dixon, Candace Dillard Bassett, Bassett Wendy Osefo, and Mia Thornton. And they're joined by newbie Neka Ahim. See, I was calling this girl Nika, but her name is Neka. So I mispronounced her name before, but I got it right now. So it's Neka. And i show you all individual pictures of the ladies, too. A press release reports that the new housewife is a first-generation Nigerian-American from a well-to-do family. She's a successful lawyer, the daughter of a doctor, and newly married to a surgeon. Why would she come on this show? She got all that wealth and got all this going on. Why would she come on this show? Baby, I wouldn't if I was her, but okay. Shoot, you could keep all that wealth and all your your business to yourself. I mean, you know, she'll be, she's, I think she'll be a great addition, but still, if you're a person who don't like drama, she, and she seems like to me, she, you know, is, is a person that don't have time for drama. So I'm just wondering why would she get on this show? But okay, I'm going to keep reading. She also owns multiple homes, including a new multi-million dollar house in the heart of Potomac. See, this lady, if she don't want no drama, she shouldn't have came on this show. But okay, unless she gonna bring some drama. My dad is a rich bee, so he made sure I was a rich bee, says NECA in the trailer. She's also coming in hot and goes from coming for Karen's Grand Down title to clashing with fellow Nigerian Dr. Wendy. NECA alleges that the professor's mom has been doing voodoo on her by a secret shrine, something Wendy vehemently denies. My mother worships our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, says Wendy to which Necker responds at day. By night, she's submitting names to shrans. Messy. Yes, it is. Speaking of which, Robin's dealing with the messy fallout from the headlines about her husband. As previously reported, Fans wanted Robin fired for not disclosing details about Juan's, Juan Dixon's inappropriate communication with another woman during season 7. Now she's feeling the heat and not just from viewers but from her bestie Giselle who grills her about the constant rumors surrounding her spouse. That's funny because Giselle... Why you grilling Robin? Wasn't you on her side? You was helping her keep this a secret. Now all of a sudden you're grilling her about it. And you knew about it. And didn't say nothing last season. But now you're going to say something. How ironic. 
But I, but that's what Giselle does. Giselle does her job. So you know what? Sooner or later, I knew she was going to put the heat on Robin. But anyway, here it is. I'm getting back to the article. I'm turning into a effing villain, says Robin through tears before crying on the side of a highway. I didn't do nothing to you all. That's bullcrap, Robin. You've been causing trouble and drama at least the last couple of years on this show, girl. Stop your lying. One, however, couldn't care less. People always got something to say, says the housewife's longtime, longtime love. I don't care. You sh apparently you don't. Also seen in the trailer is Ashley Darby revealing her new implants and Candace clashing with the aforementioned over a impending lawsuit. Ashley's estranged husband, Michael Darby, is suing Candace for two million for a, for allegations she made about his sex life, and Candace is seemingly pretty pissed about it. Kiss my F and A, says Candace. Bravo notes that Sharice Jackson Jordan will return as a friend of the cast, along with new friend Kiana Stewart. If Stewart's name sounds familiar, it's because she was at the center of, of that brawl with Ashley Darby's friend, Deborah Williams. The fight will reportedly not air during season eight. Yeah, because they had that fight while the um, camera shut down. You know, after the, or uh, you know, when the, when um, they got done sh shooting scenes for the new season, so that that fight was outside the show anyway. See the ladies' local, or see the ladies' official cast bios by Bravo on the flip. After years of being constantly t taunted for being single by the Grand Dom, in particular, Giselle's. Kinda, sorta, got a boo. For TV purposes. But okay, here go Giselle's new look. Y'all, I'm about to show her new look. Her season, for the season. Okay, that's Giselle. And it says, Giselle is in a situationship with Jason Cameron from Bravo's Winter House who is 16 years her junior in the West Wing has never been more alive. He's a fun distraction as she prepares for her firstborn Grace to head to college. Although Giselle is in a good place with Karen, she and Robin are experiencing a different facet of their friendship as Giselle is no holes barred about expressing her feelings Toward Juan's actions. And I feel like this came a season late. I'm going to be honest. She should have did this in season 7. But speaking of Karen Huger. She's surprisingly in a good place with Giselle. But not Mia and Robin. Here go Karen's look. Okay, it's the triple 20 milestone, a.k.a. age 60, for Karen Huger, who is entering this era in stride, but a health scare causes her to make some changes with her lifestyle. As she continues to build on a legacy of her family in Surrey County, she has decided to restore the home that once belonged to her grandmother into a guest house slash slash lounge. Karen and Giselle have called a truce and for the first time are closer than ever. But Karen resents Mia for spreading rumors and Robin for not being up front with the group. Ashley Darby's divorce is still looming and she's balancing motherhood with two new additions, her breast implants. She could have left her breast alone. But here go Ashley's look. Yeah, she could have left her breast alone. And I, I think they looked fine before. But um, 
Ashley Darby has settled into a new home with sons, Dean and Dylan, but whether she's getting a divorce still remains a hot topic among the women. As she contemplates the life of a single mother and the financial challenges that lie ahead, she questions how she will support her family. Now, if she was smart, she would have hit. She wouldn't have signed no prenup. She would have did. She would have did everything she could to get money out of Michael. See, she didn't play her cards right. See, she fumbled. She dropped. She fumbled the ball. And, you know, she dropped the ball on this, man. She could have got half that man's money. And it's a possibility she won't get nothing but, but child support for the children. And that's it. And maybe if she lucky, get spousal support. But other than that, she set herself up for failure when she got married to Michael. Robin Dixon is dealing with the one cheating rumors fallout. And she's noticeably stressed. Yeah, she should. They they need to hold Robin to the fire this season because she hid that storyline from everybody last season. So, yeah, Robin, it's your turn to get the heat put on your behind because you always putting heat on other people. Now it's your turn to receive some heat. But Robin looks good, though. She looked like she lost some weight, y'all. But here's what Robin, what Robin's look right here. Yep. Amidst the one cheating rumors, Robin Dixon has decided to remain by his side, and everyone has something to say about it. Of course they do. While her friend group supports her, they wonder if she's truly happy. Do they really support her? But okay. Or if she's just making excuses for her partner. Candace is booked and busy, but she's dealing with a health discovery and interesting friendship dynamics. Okay, here go Candy Kane. Candace. Look at Miss Candace. Look at her. Uh... Candace Dillard Bassett is extremely busy touring her Deep Space Deluxe album in multiple cities. But bankrolling the cost is taking its toll on her and Chris. And she needs to figure out her next move. Already stressed out, she becomes even more anxious due to a recent health discovery. I hope it ain't too serious. I hope Candace can get better. Because we love, I mean, we need our Candace, you know, to come out with another album and tour if possible. So she's taking advantage of this situation like she should. And then she's acting. She's an actress as well. So she's definitely expanding her brand. And I'm proud of her for that. Go Candy. Well Candace, Candy Kane. Within the group relationships are strand. As Candace is going through her usual. On again, off again with Ashley. Not surprised there. Not speaking with Giselle. And going through a rough patch with Robin. Who was never her her real friend to begin with. She too far up Giselle's behind to be anybody else's friend. Also booked and busy. Dr. Wendy's got something new brewing. But it's not a friendship with NECA. Nor it, it, is it a rekindled one with Giselle and Robin. There go Wendy looking stunning. Look at Wendy. Dr. Wendy. Wendy Osefo is taking on another endearer, and this time it will combine her interest in politics, mental health, and good gossip. The group dynamic presents a challenge as she's not in a good place with Giselle and Robin, and the arrival of new housewife Neca rubs her the wrong way. We'll see how that dynamic goes between her and Neca. The, the clash of the Nigerian women, or should I say queens. Mia and her husband and her hubby Gordon are apparently on the rocks. Here go Mia, Mama Mia. <laughs> there she go. Yeah. But she she don't look bad in that dress though. 
Mia Thornton and her husband, Gordon, have been through it this past year. And with the loss of their CEO title ship in the joint chiro chiropractor, the mounting tension has caused her to seek a divorce lawyer, but not ready to give up. She gives couples therapy a try. Mia takes step, steps toward making amends with Karen, but persistent rumors make it difficult for them to move on. See, Mia, I'm telling you, Mia has a bad track record of um, friendships. From what I hear about Mia, she's not a good friend to people. I'm telling you, she, she don't know how to keep friends. Think about her 20-year 20, 20 friendship she had with Jacqueline. She messed that up. But I hear that they um trying to make things better between them. But still, Mia don't know how to keep friends. So, yeah, her and Karen, they're going to have to work out their issues, hopefully. If not, then Karen can do better without her. But newbie Neckers shaking things up and bringing her hubby along for the ride. Okay, this is the newest housewife right here. And the last wa lady that I'm going to show. NECA, Miss NECA NECA. Here we go. Attorney and entrepreneur NECA Ahim is a first generation Nigerian American who enjoys her finer things in life. She and her husband, Dr. Iken Ahim, recently bought a beautiful Potomac house that is being re renovated. She's looking forward to building new friendships with the women, but surprising tensions rise between her and Wendy as family secrets are uncovered. Okay, and that's all from that article, but I'm going to play the um trailer too. And for you all, Okay. We are all black women, yes. and we're all going through our different things in our lives, and we're going to embrace that, okay? We're going to keep Potomac weird, okay? We don't yeah. need it. Do you want me to stop dancing? No. <laughs> no. Black skin is tight, and get that booty right. Ah! Oh, my God. I would like to introduce you to Demi and Diamond. There is a new grand dame of Potomac. <laughs> if only it were that simple. This season on the Real Housewives of Potomac. Okay. Yeah, they giving them character names, which is new. But like I said, um, NECA, I don't think NECA is going to be replacing Karen anytime soon. But I just figure I'd just tell y'all that what I think about the characters. You know, interesting. First time I've ever seen it. But I'm going to get right back to this trailer now. This is their trip, I think their first cash trip that they had in Houston. I had a contact high with Ganji. <laughs> Open up, Giselle. I'm wide open. Bam! I got okay. your mole with the t two pieces of hair coming out. Uh -huh. <laughs> I did too. Ladies, this is my friend Neko I was telling you about. Hello, everyone. Hi. Hi. My daddy's a rich bitch. Okay. Um, Ashley just introduced NECA to the group. So Ashley is bringing on yet another person on the show. The last person she brought on the show is the person she currently don't get along with. is Candace. So she's bringing NECA. So let's continue. My daddy's a rich bitch and he made sure his daughter was a rich bitch too. Thanks for buying me a $2 million house. I most definitely think that you married Michael for his money. Did you marry Gordon for his money? I might have. Black women. Hold on. Now that's an inter now that's interesting. 
That is so interesting. Mia asking Ashley, did she marry Michael for his money? The answer, I can answer that. Yes, she did. She married that man for his money. What else did she marry that man for? And also, she married that man for support. You know what I'm saying? And she married him because he is like a father figure to her. She needed a man to help fill her father's shoes. And her father was never in her life. So Michael was the perfect man to come along. She looked at him as a daddy. A sugar, a sugar daddy. But guess what, honey? From what, from what I heard, you may not be getting nothing from Michael. Like I said, besides, besides child support. If you're lucky, spousal support. And it won't be much. And then Mia... At least she admit, I mean, to me, she says, oh, maybe I did. Mia, you married Gordon for the money. You did, baby. Because why, why else would you have married him? Gordon is 71 years old. Mia posted recently this month, I, yeah, this month on um, her Twitter, that happy 71st birthday to my husband, Gordon. So go back and look, up, look her up on Twitter, Mia Thornton. And you see a picture of her and her husband on his birthday. She posted a picture of him and her celebrating his 71st birthday this month, earlier this month. Just to give y'all a little tea on that. I might have. You did. I actually had um, retained a divorce attorney. And I come to bed and you're sleeping. Yeah, because you come to bed at 2 o'clock in the morning. Why do I feel so guilty? <laughs> I feel like you're ready and prepared to go to college. Yeah. But it is like ripping my heart out. Oh, God, I need to find some trick, on. okay? You are the trick. The mother Ooh, that's a good one, Karen. Yeah, they said that her and Mia was going to clash. Yeah, Mia got the nerve to talk about you too old. You too old for tricks. And then Karen, being the shade assassin that she can be, says that you are the trick. Good one, Karen. Mia, you are the trick, baby. You are the trick. That's spending Gordon's money. That's why you want to seek a divorce attorney because he ain't got no more money for you, baby. Just admit it. You married him. You had children with him because of his lifestyle. Because you wanted the money. And you've been running through that man's money like toilet paper. Dummy. But. Okay, let's get back to this trailer. The mother who is suing me is still married to the woman sitting in there. Kiss my ass. Okay, walk away so I can see it. Why was in the nail salon? Why was in the laundromat? Why was at the hotel? That's a one moment. People always got something to say. I don't care. Of course you don't care, Juan. You never really, you never really cared about your marriage, and you don't care that much about Robin anyway. To be honest, I don't think he does. But yeah, um. Something before that I wanted to say something about. Oh, Giselle grilling Robin. She's grilling Robin. Wow, finally. Yep. I think this man, I don't know if they, I don't know how much they're going to clash this season, but they're going to clash. And I feel like Giselle, you should have grilled Robin last year. You should have brought this to our, uh, to our attention last year, season seven. Why you waiting to season eight to get on Robin about her marriage, girl? Yeah, you you grilling her now, but you helped her cover that secret, her storyline up. You you helped her hide it, hide the um information about um her relationship with wine. You helped. So now you're going to turn and flip the script on her. But then again, Giselle truly ain't really nobody's friend. But let's continue. Robin sitting on the side of the road. Girl, you, are, you have been like a villain the last couple of seasons. 
You sit up there and you interrogate, interrogate people, get in people's business, being messy, always having something to say about somebody else's relationship or what, or something about a person and what they're going through. Or should I say about the other ladies and their problems? But when somebody come at you about what you did, you hide your storyline from um, us and from them last season. Now you want to cry. You want to play victim. No, Robin. I don't feel sorry for you. You've been big and bad these the previous seven seasons. Girl, you need to tighten up and be strong enough to take them women grilling your behind. Because every dog got his day. And Robin, this season could be your season to get the heat. So, honey, pick your... Put your grown woman panties on and get ready to um, take the heat. She's doing voodoo on you? My mom worship. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. This is... Wendy's mom started saying that she has a shrine. She's doing voodoo on you? My mom worship our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, at day. By night, she's, she's submitting names to shrines. This is the demon coming to get us. I got the motherfucking bazooka. Come at me the again. Okay. Wendy and NECA. I, I was thinking when I first read about, like, found out about NECA joining the show, I thought that her and Wendy was going to join forces. But man, was I wrong. The clash of the Nigerian queens. I want to I wanna know who going to come, come out on top. You know, hopefully they can, they, they can work on their issues someday. And if they can, they can come together and they might can run this show. But... I just feel like they're giving Giselle what she wants. And she wants NECA and Wendy to clash. She don't want them to be cool with each other. She don't. And low-key, Robin don't either. So like I said, this is made for good TV. But at the same time, it's unfortunate. Because I feel like them women could come together if they can put their egos aside. But yeah, NECA coming for Wendy's mama. Wrong move, NECA. Wrong move. I think you're doing too much, too fast. But we'll see. Let's play the rest of this trailer. Just shut up. No, shut I'm up. not shutting up. Shut up. I ain't listening to your raggedy ass. Okay. Uh -huh. blah, 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 Yeah, that was the end of that trailer. Let me see. Yep, that was the end of the trailer. And y'all all seen Robin and um Karen going at it. Of course, they don't get along. They don't like each other. They don't. And like I said, Rob, I mean, just, I think that Karen going to still keep reading Robin and checking her and putting her in her place. But like I said, this is going to be a tough season for Robin. And then Candace did, because uh, she's going to clash with Candace too. But um, yeah, I heard Candace say this season was so bad for her that she, she would replace this season with the drama that she went through in season five. And I'm like, dang, that's the, the season that her and Monique fought. So it's like, dang, this season was that bad for you, um... Candace, I'm thinking to be honest, Candace, after this season, she probably should leave the show because she got her music career going. You know, she didn't have a great first album. She's doing a tour. And not only that, she's acting, you know, in movies and on TV shows, especially the show Hush on All Black Network. She filmed season two for that. So... Yeah, Candace has a bright future. She can leave the show. She's been on since season three, I believe. Yeah. So like I said, I don't think she really needs this show no more. But I don't mind seeing her though. But yeah, this may or may not be her last season. We, we'll all have to tune in to find out. 
And then, like I said, Giselle and um, Karen getting along, that's good. That's new because normally they go at it every season. But yeah, Giselle, I know Giselle, some, or her and Robin going to get into it. But also, she going to be stirring up the pot when it comes to the other ladies. I know it. Giselle is that antagonist. And she going to do everything she can to keep the heat off her. I bet you she going to do that. I bet you she going to be that antagonist that stirs things up and sit, like, throw the rocks and hide her hands. But at the same time, Giselle, you need to work on your fashion. I mean, the dress was a little better. I mean, it wasn't bad. But the hair, girl, you need to learn how to dress. Excuse me. How to dress and have your hair on point. You need to have both on point. Because one, cause one can't be on point. Both have to be on point. And really, you seem to always miss the mark when it comes to certain things about you. So... But like I said, and Mia, Mama Mia, her and Karen, Mia, you are not a match for Karen, baby. Karen will shut you down. And plus, you've been running through Gordon's money, spending his money. You're not ready to give up. Hopefully, really, you need to work more and try to make your own or, you know, continue to work and make your own money and stop worrying about Gordon's money because you didn't ran through that man's money like it's nobody's business. And he's stupid for letting you do it. So like I said, you didn't broke the man down. I wonder is couples therapy going to help you? Or not? We'll figure that out. And then NECA, she coming in hot. I feel like NECA need to just set, fall back. Take some steps back. And get to know everybody. Because she want to make a splash. And you know, hopefully she knows how. But like I said, NECA, you need to cool it down a little bit. Take a chill pill and relax. This just your first season. Don't do too much. And Ashley, you know, Ashley and Candace, can they just get along? The answer is no. They're probably never going to be friends. Just when you think they cool, then they end up clashing again. So the same old, same old with those two. And then who else? And Sharice coming on the show. Sharice, I seen her in the trailer when she was sitting down witnessing Giselle confront Robin about Juan. Yeah, I wonder what role Sharice going to play. Because like I said, I seen her um, photo with her dress. Sharice had blonde hair. And Sharice, blonde hair is not for you, baby. You know, blondes do have more fun, but, but you don't. And you don't fit the bill with that hair. I just didn't have a pit. They didn't. Her look was to me kind of so bad. I mean, she looked like a um somebody's grandma. That's probably why they didn't put her picture in that article. Because if you go look up, you know the um the cast photo, you um or cast photos, you probably would see Sharice in one of them. But yeah, her look did not fit the bill. But I look forward to watching the season November 5th. I hope I think it's going to give. I think it's going to be good. But until then, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Dang, this video was long. But like I said, it was a good one. I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Thanks for watching and you all have a good evening. Peace.